Hi, my name is Ed Boone. I'm the creative director for the Mortal Kombat team, and we'd like to show you a demonstration of our newest game, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. During this demo, you'll see a number of new features in action. You'll also see how we've managed to merge these two universes' mythologies, characters, and fighting abilities into one game. Let's start the demonstration with two of the more recognizable characters from both franchises, Superman and Scorpion. This fight should give you a good idea of how the game plays and how we've managed to get these radically different characters from two different universes to work in the same game. The first question that most people ask about our game is, how will any character be a challenge against Superman? Our story mode is going to fully explain the details, but the quick answer is that Superman actually does have two weaknesses, kryptonite and magic. Since the Mortal Kombat universe has a rich background in sorcery and magic, this brings Superman down to a more level playing field. As you can see, Superman has many of his signature powers available to him. In addition to his heat vision and freeze breath, he has a number of special moves that utilize his abilities. Special moves like these can be custom linked together like no previous Mortal Kombat game has done before. Here is an example of some of the creative ways players can string together Superman's special moves. Scorpion has a number of new moves, as well as enhanced versions of his classic special moves. This is a good demonstration of how some of his new and classic moves can be strung together for some pretty devastating combos. Let's move on to our next fight, demonstrating some of Batman and Sub-Zero's abilities. Like Superman and Scorpion, both characters have a deep history with well-known abilities, all of which are represented in their fighting styles and special moves. One of the new features in our fighting system is something we call Close Combat. Close Combat is a brief, up-close, and intense fighting mode that either player can activate by grabbing their opponent and pulling them in. During Close Combat, the aggressor unleashes a series of brutal attacks while the opponent tries to end it with his own set of defensive counter moves. Close combat ends when either the aggressor gets in the maximum number of hits or the defender successfully counters an attack. This takes us to Flash and Sonya. Flash is some of the most dynamic moves in the game. And Sonya has regained all of her classic moves from the old Mortal Kombat games. Another new fighting mechanic we have is called Free Fall Combat. Now, when fighters are knocked off the edge of an arena, they can actually fight during their fall down to the arena below. Like close combat, free fall combat consists of an aggressor and a defender. But during free fall, a successful counter results in both fighters swapping positions, changing the defender to the attacker. Fighters can swap positions several times during a fall. When landing from free fall, the fighter on defense takes the accumulated damage. After landing below, the action reverts back to the main combat fighting. This wraps up our demonstration of Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. We are very excited to show you much more in the near future, as well as the final version, which comes out this November on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 computer entertainment system. 